To understand the magnitude of what Margaret Geddes, CEO and founder of Kids Beating Cancer, has accomplished, you must first go back and understand the years of sadness and pain that shaped her future journey of passion, leadership, and philanthropy. There is no greater motivating factor to inspire and lead others to join her cause and change the world than the suffering and death of a child. With the opening of the Kids Beating Cancer Pediatric Transplant Center, Central Florida has now become a place of healing for today's children and their families, as well as future generations of children diagnosed with leukemia, cancer, and 80 other malignant and non-malignant life-threatening diseases. Margaret's passion has been to bring these life-saving treatments to Central Florida families and children, so life-saving cures can be accomplished at home with family, friends, and the community close at hand. Margaret's story began in 1988, while she was pregnant with her third of four children, when she had to leave Central Florida to obtain a diagnosis for her firstborn son, John, at the young age of five. John's disease was a rare and highly fatal myelodysplastic syndrome, MDS, that had evolved into acute myeloblastic leukemia, AML. With this aggressive disease, Margaret was told her son had only a 15% chance of survival. This increased only to 30% with a bone marrow transplant, if a marrow donor could be identified. Finding a donor was the first of many challenges Margaret faced. Families today continue to experience tremendous barriers to treatment, finding a compatible donor in the family only 20% of the time. Margaret was fortunate. Her second child, Todd, at the age of four, was John's perfect match. However, not only could John not be diagnosed in Central Florida, but he would also have to leave the state to receive a bone marrow transplant. Due to John's age and his disease at the time, Margaret had to travel to Seattle with her two boys and her newborn daughter. The family had to be separated by this long distance for months, while Margaret had to face life and death decisions alone and a high crisis and complex life, balancing the needs of a desperately ill child against the needs of the child who was the donor and a newborn baby. All far away from home and family for 100 plus days in Seattle. It was this first transplant and the unbelievable difficulties that ensued because of the separation from family and friends that motivated Margaret to vow that she would devote her life to changing Orlando and Central Florida so families would never have to go through the trauma she had just experienced. Unfortunately, that ambition was put on hold when John relapsed within a few months requiring a second transplant. At that time, he was just the fourth patient in the country to receive a second transplant for AML. With no choice at this point, it was a return to Seattle for at least another 100 days if he survived. It was during these transplants, particularly the second one, that Margaret found the inspiration and determination that has resulted in her remarkable quest to make it possible for families who need a bone marrow transplant for their child as the only hope for survival to have this most difficult of treatments close to home, friends and family right here in Central Florida. The accomplishments of kids beating cancer did not come easily. And had Margaret not been driven by her will to achieve what was not available for her son, and her passionate ability to inspire and motivate others to join her fight for her vision, most individuals would have quit early on. The sacrifices were deep for Margaret and her family. To start a non-profit from nothing, only months after her son's death, with no financial investors and little knowledge of their challenges to start and sustain a sound nonprofit with attainable objectives 
was both altruistic and heroic. Serving over 10,000 of the sickest children in the United States, raised over $25 million, tested 38,000 marrow donors, established the annual National Science is the Cure Research Symposium, funding National Pediatric Cancer Research Grants, funding state-of-the-art cellular therapy equipment. Kids Beating Cancer's focus is on the belief we all strive for. The day when no child will die before they can experience the joy of life. Science is the cure to saving children's lives. The results have benefited the Central Florida community, Florida, the U.S., and beyond, and will continue to do so for years to come.